Hey everybody, Broza in here. Today we're going to talk about making your very first realistic boat. I've seen a lot of complaints in the ship's PVM channel that people who are making these guides are on their in-game characters or galleons. I respect that and I want to start out with a this is what you can realistically expect on the water build. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start talking about template that we're going to run and then we're going to build a boat and we're going to take it out and see how it actually performs. So very first thing you could see here is my template. We're just running a very, very standard Nox summoner, uh, running poisoning, spirit speak, taste ID, necromancy, majory, meditation, and some points in Evaliant. Uh, you can see I've got tier 11 aspect unlocked. Next thing we'll talk about is our loadout we're going to take some ship bombs um, i'm only taking 10 for this run just for demonstration purposes we want to have agapite spy glasses some people say gold are okay you do you i don't care to lose some agapite we're gonna make sure we have our magic mushrooms we're gonna make sure we have our boarding ropes and our repair kits we won't be using a bot today because i want you to see just how it would be getting out there so no bot today very first thing we're going to do is spawn a boat uh we're going to spawn a carrick because this is a pretty middle ground getting started boat you could start on a large and a lot of people suggest that you do just to see if you like it i don't like running a large because they take more damage um but you do you if you want to start on a large do this on test Get out here, see what it'll actually feel like on test. So I'm going to spawn a random character. I, don't, I think on test it's all stats 10. So it'll be a very good boat. Um, just know that you're a little bit better than you would be on live. So next we're going to spawn some low grade ship abilities. We're going to make this ship something you could get on for less than a million gold. I, I can't say it enough but you are not going to boat with a new character you want to be at least around tier 10 aspect and you want to have some bankroll to start a boat i started on a blank boat you can do it it's fun building it up but it is considerably harder so we've got our blank carrick we're going to spawn some abilities i'm going to choose abilities that are generally less than a hundred thousand gold to buy um, what you really want to do is focus on abilities that can break either guns or sails don't try to do both don't try to do too much this is your getting started boat um, arcane shot is a good one um, it's always cheap so let's go ahead and spawn that we'll put it on the boat in a minute for our regular we're going to look through here i'm just picking at random something that wouldn't be terribly expensive to start with uh, sure let's do toxic ammunition not not a great one at all but this is something you can pick up for like 50k or less and for our grader let's pick up i don't know something let's do we'll do flat cans it's not a great one either but again we're we're trying to simulate a boat here that you literally just bought uh as far as upgrades go let's pick our um let's pick our outfitting merchant is an extremely strong starting outfitting it runs about a hundred thousand gold it's i i would say running merchant century um they're, they're pretty good choices you can really use anything for outfitting just make sure you're not naked this is a getting started uh reads all these guide he gives some good opinions here as far as specialty items you're not going to find cheap specialty items in general so i'm just going to pick one of the the garbage for lack of a better word so let's pick uh sure flawless iron flawless iron is a very garbage and you could pick it up for about 20k crew uh crew 
supplies we're going to be doing again this is a cheap build so we'll just grab something that's always cheap we'll do spices these upgrades that i have spawned would run you less than 500k easily you could pick them up from players probably for free if you got a buddy so i'm just going through and installing all of these make sure i didn't skip anything I'm not doing cannon metals or anything like that right now. All right, so you can see we have an extremely shitty starter boat. Now, this this is not designed to be great. These are all things that you will replace eventually. Now, we're going to spawn some crew. Um, crew is a little more important for your starter crew. You, brand new level ones. I strongly suspect suggest picking up two pilgrims at least i'm going to spawn them as experts because you can get these for 50 to 100k each um, depending on stats for decent ones for bad ones like this is a bad one this is a decent one you you could pick up both of these probably from somebody who just would have thrown them back for salvage now we're going to do hedge mages or um, or engineers or powder monkeys. Uh, I'm just going to spawn some vet hedge mages for testing purposes here for this video. It's a decent one. It's got a greater ability. But we're going to throw these on the boat. These are all level ones. You can see loyalty is at zero. Gonna hire my crew members. Once we have these hired, we're gonna go out on our boat. So looking at the stats on our boat, it's pretty garbage. We've got a four and a half minute greater, one and a half minute lesser, and our wake scaler is still over a hundred percent. This is not a boat that I would suggest using to start. But that's kind of the point of this video. I want you to see what it's like to get out there on a subpar boat. I might have spent 700,000 gold to get this started. And you, your non-boating friends are saying that's a lot of money. In the boating world, that is not a lot of money. People regularly pay 2 million, 3 million for a single upgrade. So let's register this ship. All right. We're going to, since we're on test, we're going to use the go commands just to avoid having to do a, um, a three minute wait. We're going to go to Horseshoe Bay to the port. We're going to launch our ship. I'm sure I have a cannon shot. I forgot to tell you that in the uh, loadout. Once we get on the boat, we are going to open our ship hot bars. We are going to ready the crew. And we are going to reload. Get up all my bars. All right, we're gonna summon up some pets. And while we summon those pets, we are going to start driving out. Set your cannons to accuracy mode. <laughs> All right, we're getting out on the water now. You can see I've got my special abilities on this gump. You will hotkey all of this eventually. Um, eat some food. I'm going to hit a hotkey to do buffs just because I'm lazy. Get my crew buffed up. All right, so I'm... The hotkey I just used is using my spyglass, targeting myself, and searching for ships. 
You are very new to the water. One thing you should know is that Carracks are kind of hard. Um, any monster types, I would strongly suggest until your crew is like level three, four, don't go after any monster type ships that are larger than a large. So don't go after Carracks and Galleons that are monster types. Humanoid types, we're gonna go after this Raider Carrick. Uh, humanoid types are much easier to deal with generally. They won't kill your crew as hard. And I should have, I'm going to dispel one of my liches and summon an earth elemental instead. That'll tank some of the crew damage. So I've approached this boat. I'm going to bring up my health bars. The very first thing I'm going to do is use one of my abilities. You can see I'm starting to strip away sails and guns. That's a good thing. As I'm using abilities, I'm going to be casting my poisons. You can see my crew is doing their damage. So I'm just poisoning away. My guns are up, so I'm going to shoot my arcane shot. You can see I'm finally getting sales below that 50% mark. If I were to try now, I would fail and be locked out from boarding for 20 seconds. So I will wait just a moment. I'm going to fire my last ability, Toxic Shot, which since I'm on a poisoning character is kind of redundant. Now that the sails are about 25%, I'm going to attempt boarding. It might fail, but for the purpose of this video, let's try. So I succeeded with a 60% try. Now I'm on board, it's time to kill the crew. My poison's refreshed. Make sure my pets are killing stuff. I use all guard almost entirely. So you can see a raider boat. It's hurting one of my crew pretty good, but in general, I can finish it off. Now, since this is a brand new boat, you are going to have to heal your own crew. Your pilgrims, oh, I shot myself. This is an important thing. If that happens, start pushing stand down a lot and tell your crew to follow you. So you can see I finally got it to stop attacking. So now I have to heal the crew even more. Your pilgrims will tick these up slowly, but on your very first garbage boat, you're going to have to up these after each larger boat. So we're going to loot now. Um, I'm on test. And necessarily care about loot but loot everything loot all the corpses on board loot the hold get your fancy items now once we're done looting we're gonna drop a ship bomb you can be dropping bombs as you're looting as well if you have an idea of how much damage you'll do to the ship I need to do 2,000 damage so I would have dropped a bomb while I was looting so that bomb's about to go off. I'm going to shoot a cannon shot at it as well. I'm going to dump my loot. You can see I'm at 85-ish percent sales and such. I have a combat repair, so I'm going to use it right now on my sails. And I'm going to look for a new boat. So I'm at a low... This is a good thing to show here. I'm at... My abilities are over a minute cooldown still, and I've got a really high priority target here. It's a Galleon. Don't do this. If you're just starting out, you should be looking for a small or a medium, something that you could kill easily while your cooldowns come back up and you can repair those types of things. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you what happens when you come on one of these, and we're not going to use Toxic or Flak just to say they were on cooldown. So we're going to start out, if we look at our timer, 
I'm about 15 minutes into the video at this time. We're going to show how long it takes to actually sink this boat without using those abilities. And how much damage we take, which is the real thing you want to avoid. So my abilities aren't up. I'm firing cannons on cooldown. Look at the low piddly damage this is doing. See how much damage we're taking. Firing cannons again. We're finally getting their guns to where they're almost boardable. This is why you don't engage when your cooldowns aren't up. This is why people talk about how you need to have higher cooldown reduction on your boat. Cannons are up. It's still not even boardable. Oh, I'm sorry. It just got boardable. We're going to attempt to board right now just to show you what happens. So I'm going to go back up. I failed 5.3% chance because it's only a, a little less than 50%. Shoot our cannons again. You can see at this point we're at 50% hole. We need to back off. So we're going to back off. We're going to get away from this ship. We're going to heal up our crew. If you're poisoned, it locks you in combat, so you want to get poisons off as soon as possible. So we're going to have to wait out a 50 second timer here. For purposes of this video, I'm not going to make you watch this, but you can see that's why you don't engage with your cooldowns down. We'd have to wait out that timer, we'd have to repair our hull, our guns, and our sails, each one taking 10 seconds to do 10 or 20%. The difference is we're going to drive back over here now. Uh, pretend we repaired. If we hadn't used our abilities, where you saw previously we were doing about 500 damage to each part. If we use even our crappy flak cannons, which is one of the worst abilities you can buy, you can see we're just smashing the sails. We did a thousand to each part, whereas previously we were doing 300 to 500 to each part. It's worth three regular cannon shots, and you don't want to be standing here getting broadsided while you're shooting. So we let it come up again, we shoot our toxic, and now you can see our guns is finally at the point where we can board. Board. Go ahead and kill crew. You see, I'm, I nuke down one. I like to see one die early so I can use my pain spike. You can see my crew's taking a pretty bad beating. This is why we run healing characters, and it's also why you don't engage with your cooldowns down, because if they hadn't taken all that chip damage, it'd be closer to 75% of your We really, really, really don't ever want to let a crew die because then we would have to dock to bring them up on board again. So we get our crew back over there. We go through our looting. Uh, we'd look, see that this has 2,000 left, so we'd be dropping bombs. You should really create hotkeys to do all of this for you. You can see I accidentally defused my own bomb. But we'll sit back on our ship. We'll heal up our crew yet again. You get them to about 25%. Just so you don't have to sit here and watch me. I would bomb this and shell this until it sinks, but because my crew is on such low hit points, this is where target selection comes into play. We want to go out now and we want to find a small or a medium. We want to find something that is not going to do a lot of damage to our crew. So we'll go out, we will find a small maybe 
we're on test. Do you think there would be more ships about? Need to reload our cannons too. So this is a good noob trap. This is a demon, a medium demon. I'm gonna stop, I'm gonna heal up my crew a little bit and I'm gonna wait on at least two of my abilities to come up. So we'll sit here, do some repairs, wait on some abilities to come up. You're getting started, you're gonna do a lot of this. Get out in the middle of the ocean, not parked by any boats so that you're harder to scout. You're gonna repair and you're gonna wait on cooldowns. That is not necessarily a bad thing. That's, that's just how it works. I'm not going to repair hull for this video just because we don't want to sit here bored, but we're waiting on these cooldowns. So I've got two abilities up on a medium. That should get me to at least a boardable state. I'm going to drive over here, get side by side, toxic. You can see what we're doing damage to the boat parts. Again, Toxic is not a good ability. You should probably not run it, but it's just a cheap one to never get ship hits. I've lost a pet, so I'm gonna summon that up. Shoot my heart king. Not in the damn water. We're getting close to boardable. I'm gonna switch my gun, switch this to sails because I want to get on board the ship faster. My regular cannon shot, it'll focus the sails more. You can see I did more sails damage than to the other parts. Switch this back to accuracy so I don't forget later. And I filled the board at 85%. This is why I said you want a board that had a high number because now I've got a 20 second cooldown. Might as well be shooting while I'm waiting on cooldowns. You can see I've lost a crew while I was chatting. I wasn't watching their health bars. That's why I said this is a noob trap. Demon ships cast a bleed. So all of my crew are bleeding currently, being hurt considerably. So I can finally board get over here. Watch my crew's health just dropping now that they're on board. Generally, unless your crew is over 75%, you do not want to do demon ships. I've lost my lich already. I'm sorry, I have not. I just forgot to bring up this health bar. But you can see my pets are hurting considerably. My crew is dying. Demon ships are very bad with unleveled crew. I finally killed it. Watch, my crew's still ticking down. So these are some common things you will encounter as you start out on the boating adventure. Be selective in your targets. Kill humanoid crew types. Avoid druid ships. Avoid demon ships. You can vastly improve your survivability and your clear by bringing a bot in the early levels. I, I can't stress this enough. If I had a bot, by now I would have already killed six or seven boats. I, I don't like it. I have been very actively against botting, but it is what it is, and it's a tool that you can use. Starting out before you have level seven or eight crew, a bot is the single easiest thing you can do that will cost you almost nothing to make ocean content more tolerable. So having said that, hopefully this video will kind of set your expectations of what you can do out on the ocean with about a million gold. Thank you for watching. If you have feedback, hit me up on Discord or on YouTube. I try to answer pretty quickly. Uh, a direct message will generally get to me faster.